Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a vast Orc Bad Moon Army for Warhammer 40k. Uh, it's been completed by Simon, one of the artists here at Siege. There are loads of great models in this force, so stick around. We're back in a second to have a look at them all in much more detail. See you guys in a sec. Hey guys, an Orc Horde would not be complete without a mighty war boss leading it, and this Badrune army does not disappoint. We've got a really cool war boss here, as you can see, uh, including his faithful shark squig, as you can see there, uh, painted in a very, very cool shark esque kind of colour scheme. Uh, amazing model, loads of great detail on it. And uh, personally for me, I do think it's probably my favourite model in this army. So I'm quite glad to show it off first and foremost. Simon's done a stellar job on the model. There's so much detail on it. It's unbelievable. And it's all been picked out with absolute perfection. Um, lots of great highlighting across the model. Weathering in very, very key areas. Um, even little intricate details on the tongue of the squig. Little sort of nodules and things like that have all been painted on. Which is really, really cool. Uh, nice blood amount, amount of blood effects as well on the claw. Not too much and not too over the top. But just right and um, all the color choices for the, the complementary colors are brilliant as well so lots of great uh, eye work done on this by Simon uh, again really cool basing scheme as well just to complement the sort of uh, more drab colors that this army has got as well a little bit of texture there on the uh, on the holster for one of his guns as well as you can see and uh, on the skin and knuckles all full highlighting as you can see there so really really cool war boss to lead this force so that's him uh, up next we're going to have a look at all of the boys so they are coming up next to so stick around there's so many cool aspects coming so keep watching the video guys see you guys in the next section Hi guys, so next up we're going to have a look at all of the knobs in the force and uh, there are 20 of them. Uh, different loadouts on them, uh, there's three squads that have got more shooters and choppers and close combat weapons and then there's a, a central group at the back that you can see there that have got like combi scorchers. Um, so let's dive in and have a look. Um, again, really, really cool models. These have lasted the test of time, all of these knob models, uh, all loaded out very differently as you will see through the force. Uh, but same attention to detail and due care throughout the force, whether it's the weathering, the skin highlighting, the cloth, weapons, etc. Um, so really, really good composition as well on all of these models. I think there's another one here with a really, really aggressive looking sort of uh, axe, as you can see there, which is cool. Uh, central one here with a little squig as well, just hanging on for dear life as he's charging forward. Uh, again, really, really cool. All the teeth, eyes and everything picked out and uh, multiple highlighting on all the areas of fabric, skin, cloth, weapons, metals, everything. Uh, so let's just pull some of the ones from the back as well. Again here, really, really cool, cool orc models. Uh, obviously the knobs are a little bit bigger, so there's a lot more to play with when it comes to painting. Uh, just pull the other one forward with it, it's got a squig on him as well. <laughs> uh, really cool little extra sort of creature and character to this model, so that's just that one. Uh, and then we'll pull forward a few that have got the combi sculptures, as you can see here. Uh, again, really, really cool models. Their arms are massive on these. Uh, again, all the bone work and all the tusks and everything fully highlighted, all the individual rounds on the sort of belt feeds all picked out, really nice chevron sort of pipes and cables all done on all of these as well. Uh, so that's just one of the combi sculpture. Pull another one forward so you can see another one from that squad. Again here, really really cool same pose on obviously on those i think it's just the the flexibility of the kit uh, but as you can see all the muscular structure there on the arm all fully picked out and highlighted up to the bright points uh, and then pull some from the squad on the left so you can see those as well again really cool sort of bionic eye on this guy he's got like a smokestack on the side of his head <laughs> uh, and then pull forward another one just so you can see him as well again really menacing that weapon is just ridiculous on him uh, again just looking really really menacing and aggressive as you'd expect from any squad of knobs from an orc force so that is all the knobs from this force. Just gonna have to focus you guys so you can see them all in their glory. Uh, up next, we have a, a lot of boys coming up. So get ready for those. See you guys in a sec. So next up, we have all of the boys in this force and there are 48 in front of you. Um, there's five knobs and then there's 44 boys, if memory serves correct. Um, Simon's had a great job working on these because well, he's been very clever in what he's done in that he's broken them up into different batches to give them alternate colours. So they, some of the skin tones look darker and lighter and I think believe there's three different uh, colourways of colour in this force. So I'll pull forward a couple of the boys so you can see first of all just what they look like. Um, as you can see, this one's quite bright. 
if I forward and forward another one next to him, you can see obviously he's a lot darker. And then if I can hold all three, the third colorway is this gentleman right here on the right. So there are three different orc skin tones in this uh, composition of boys, giving the overall horde a very, very uh, random look to them when they're all put down back on the table. Uh, and kind of how you would expect uh, an orc horde to look like uh, with the skin tones varying from, from color hue basically. Um, so we'll pull forward a couple of the knobs just so you can have a look at these. Again, very similar to the other knobs that were in the uh, sort of knob section of the video. But uh, obviously each squad has got a knob leading it. That's just that one there. Uh, pull forward this guy as well, which is quite cool. Uh, as you can see there, he's got this little axe arm thing, so a circular saw arm, which is quite cool. Um, oh god, yeah, they're all falling over. Uh, and also my favourite one I think has to be the guy that's got like a snorkel on, which is quite hilarious. Um, you've got this guy here, um, very, very funny as you can see. Again, same with the circular saw arm, but he's got this kind of like weird sort of snorkel thing on, which is quite cool. Um, and just pull forward a couple more of the boys so you can see them. Now obviously there's quite a lot of them, so I'll just pull forward a few just so you can have a look at them. Uh, loads of weathering and detail all over them, as you'd expect with a very sort of ragtag orc force. Um, but again, I'm not going to pull forward every single orc in this force because there's obviously a lot of them. Uh, and then the knob from that squad there as well, just so you can see him as well. He's really cool. Got a power axe there. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, and then we'll pull forward a few more of the boys here so you can have a look at them. Again, much of the same throughout all the different squads. Uh, really, really cool uh, colorway. Obviously, the varying skin tones as well, done by Simon. Very, very good idea. Uh, and uh, that's all the boys from this force, guys. I do hope you like them. Uh, in the final part, we've got uh, all the trucks to carry this monstrosity of a horde. And then we also have the big boy himself, the Gorkonaut. So stick around for that. It's coming up next. See you guys back in a sec. Hey guys, so last up we have all the Dakar, um, all the trucks and obviously the Gorkonaut slash Morkonaut that you can have for this Org Force. Um, trucks obviously very much needed to get the boys into combat as quick as possible. Uh, there are six obviously as you can see in this force, really really cool and we'll start by having a look at some of them in a bit more detail. Uh, same consistent weathering and approach has been done on these, obviously you've got various sort of areas of weathering throughout this force. Uh, obviously you've got all the boarding ramps here as well which are on the trucks. Uh, obviously you've got the pilot, the gunner, um, and obviously the the the, the uh, grot that mans the uh, the ball here, the wrecking ball. But a really cool little detail that uh, Simon's done is if you look on the top of the air intake there from Epic Forty Thousand, for those of you that remember it or, or, or know it, uh, there's actually an orc uh, war boss, tiny little model that's been used as kind of like a little mascot for the front of the truck, which is really really cool. Uh, so that's just uh, a little icon to go on the truck and add a bit more character and personality to these bad moons. Uh, as you can see the back here, loads and loads of weathering and chipping all on the inside as you'd expect on a very used and abused uh, truck. Uh, you've obviously got the little grot there just uh, floating at the top. Now we'll pull forward uh, all the trucks just so you can have a look at them all uh, in a bit more detail. Again here you've got a guy with a power claw on the front, marine helmet there just on the spike at the front. Uh, again same consistent weathering throughout, uh, nice sort of amounts of detail throughout all of these trucks. You've got the nice wooden boards here, they've been highlighted really nicely. Uh, and that's just that one. A little bit of NOS there on the side of the engine. Um, and then we'll pull forward the one at the back. Uh, same here with this truck. Uh, this one also has a little mascot on the front. Uh, as you can see there, a little orc <laughs> just on the front of that. Um, and again, same consistent detailing throughout on all of these. Uh, they really, really have loads of character to them. And, and the weathering and chipping really does help with that just to give them a very unique and individual look. Plus, obviously, look very, very war-torn and battered. Uh, again, pull the one forward here from the front. Again, same again. Really, really nice consistent uh, consistency of work throughout the force. That's just this truck here. Uh, pull forward another one from the back so you can have a look. Uh, I'm teasing you all because you obviously all to see the Gorkonaut, but we'll save that till last. Another truck here, as you can see. Uh, again, really, really cool amount of weathering on it. And uh, finally, the one at the back as well. Uh, so you can see here, oh, one of the boarding ramps. Uh, and then you've got that as well. And a really, really cool sort of hubcap wheel thing there as well, different kind of colorway. Uh, again, same consistent detailing, but very varied as well, so that uh, each truck has its own unique character. And when you've got six of them, obviously making it very distinguishing on the, the tabletop as well. So I'll just move these two out of the way so we can have a look at the big boy himself. Uh, again, probably the centerpiece of the army, other than the sort of characters and war boss. Uh, this Gorkonaut slash Morkonaut is a very, very cool model uh, with loads of detail on it, as you'd expect from a centerpiece model. And uh, obviously Simon's gone in and done a great job with all the chipping and weathering that's done on this as well. Uh, again, bright yellow, as you'd expect for any bad moon. You've obviously got the crew compartment here, but obviously we've painted on the inside as well, so you can see the nice storage for all the boys. Um, 
you've obviously got all the lenses and everything picked out and these bits all do come off and so that for ease of storage as well which is really nice and again even on the crew of the various trucks and things the colors of the skin is varied so just to give that very uh, random sort of uh, skin tone across the force so that's just the Gorkonaut from this force we're back in a second to have a look at the army in its glory all together in one shot do stick around to the end guys and uh, I hope you liked all this section so far see you guys back in a sec Thanks for sticking to the end of the video guys. I do hope you liked all the models in this commission completion video. It's been a great project. Uh, personally, my favorite, I think the uh, war boss is probably my favorite model. But uh, if you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then all you need to do very simply is head to our website, the link which can be found in the description of this video. Uh, go to the contact tab and complete the contact form that is on that contact page. Uh, send that off to us to get the ball rolling and get a project started with us. Um, also in the description of the video, there's all the links to our social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. So please do go check those out. And as always, please like this and give it a thumbs up and drop some comments below. And most importantly, if you're not a subscriber, up, please do subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything that we've got coming out of the studio. See you guys on the next one and thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye. -bye.